Welcome to Town Video 98. Town stock, whatever. With more town action than you can possibly handle. With more merchants, more gold pieces, more enchant item, and more gathering spells than you can handle. Are you ready to rock, Cleveland? No. Alright, we head down here. We try to get whatever spells we can. I think we don't need any from here anymore, though. Nope. Where's the Mage's Guild? Here we are. Next character, next character, next character, next character. Ugh. But yes, this is pretty much going to be a major town video. I'm going to try to enchant as many items as I can, try to take care of as much business as I can. Um, if I fly to A1, where does it take me? Ah, wonderful. That works. Alright, so... Cast a little Etherealize action. Etherealize, thank you. Silly walls. And nobody needs spells here, which is good. Means I don't have to waste time wandering around. Well, I saw white text. I saw white text. And that was what now? S1 and S3 would be... Shelter and... No, wait. Disrupt and Sandstorm. What does Disrupt do again? I don't quite remember. I'll have to look up the spellbook later on. Not currently too worried right now. Not too concerned. Volcania. Volcania is this way. What I'm planning on doing after I'm done with towning this up is I'm going to head out to the Dragon's Domain. We want to pay them a visit. Wee, wee. And so you know, I think that there is a bit of a limit, uh, sort of a soft cap, if you will, on your on your enchant item expeditions. I know that the hard cap is plus 63, and there's another special thing you have to worry about whenever you get out to there, but I'm not worried about that right now. What I'm worried about instead is just selling some of the stuff off, making certain I have enough inventory space. Drog, Hyron, do you have anything? No, just a great bone compass. Okay, and I want to head to the temples and the mages' guilds. Whoa. Oop, oop, oh, oh, yabba dabba. Wait, wait, I gotta go in Matrix slow motion. Ooh. Ah, you dodged the bullet, Neo. Now you will die by chainsaw. Brown. All right, Cassandra, fly to area B1. And we're pretty much going to set camp in front of this little fountain and just drain it dry, pretty much. Now, what I'm going to be enchanting, mainly so I don't have to worry about our thief buggering anything up again, is just enchanting his thief's pick. Raid item, he's picked to the Hermit. And I'm gonna have him equip it, and it should be 69 thievery. Ha ha! Okay, so since we're just doing that for right now, believe me, it's rather important that we do that. Uh, I know that we have a lot of other things we want to spend our gems on and whatnot, like gear and AC and defense. But it doesn't really matter if we keep on having to rest after every single encounter because our thief keeps on botching up the trap openings. So, enchant item. We're gonna give him a little bit of a leg up, if you will. Cast. Enchant item, thief's pick. 
No, that's good. Just keep on enchanting. I'm gonna enchant from it, like, at least three more times. I wanna make it so that we don't have to double pick on him. You know what I mean? Equip him with two thieves picks at once. If we can avoid having to do that, that'll be nice, because they'll save on some AC and allow him to get an increased damage output. And I'm leaving my cutoff at 500 gems. Now I know you're thinking, I'm like, you're like, hey, Mr. RPG, shouldn't we just head back to, uh, ooh, Thievery of 75? Not bad. Couldn't we just head out to the Frozen Tundra Cave to get our gems? And to that I'd be like, yes, but be quiet. Rumble, rumble. Because instead of doing that, what I want to do is get experience and rare equipment from the Dragon Cave. Dragons have some of the best gear in the game, so I want to make certain that I get that from them. Alright, we've got an Ancient Bow. I'm going to try to... Trade? No. Have her... No. I should be worried about more about the Photon Blades and such. So, remove... Photon Blade... Trade item Photon Blade to Cassandra. I'm gonna have her try to enchant those. Cast, enchant item. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hardcore town video with more enchanting than you can handle. And one more for good measure. Okay, trade item Photon Blade to Sir Felgar. And as you can see, his might went up a whole lot, too. And share gems, before I forget yet again. Share gems, there we go. Now, there should be... Gene, do you know Holy Word yet? You should know it from a long time ago. Yeah, good. The only other thing we need to worry about now is Divine Intervention with him. And it would be a very good thing to have, but, well, we can't get it right now. So, now that we have Holy Word, let's go pester some ghouls and ghosts. Are these... what are these again? Dancing deads and bones. Nothing major about that, I can just even sandstorm them. Like that. Uh -huh. Lost souls. Is it can be meteor shower time? It can be. Wow, that didn't do a whole lot. I was expecting for it to be somewhat more impressive. Explosion, toxic gas issues from the vents. We're definitely going to have to worry about that later. The Seabury and all. Okay, this is what we want to do. Ghosts! Now these ghosts are very special. Why do I say that? Because they are guarding something important. Also, they are special because nothing you can do will, will hurt them. You can cast Inferno. It's not going to affect them. It's a level 9 spell and it doesn't affect them. There's only one thing in the world that will actually work on them. And that thing is not turn undead, but holy word. And not only does it work, it works on all undead, no questions asked, no money down, cash back bonus, the end, game over man, it's game over. Oh, frick. Well, it said pretty much you find correct soul. Sorry ladies and gents, I didn't mean to do that. But we found correct soul encased inside of a coffin. And we retrieved it, and now we've got Quark's soul with us. Now there's one other quest that we have yet to do, and I'm going to pick that up right now. So I guess it stopped being a town video a little while ago. <laughs> well, I'll make sure to label this appropriately whenever I get a chance. I'll label it inappropriately.
I'll label it like, I don't know. Chainsaw baby shed, like out of, like out of Splatterhouse 3 or something. I wonder how many people they seriously offended with that. It's like, a oh, holy crap. Still kind of creeps me out to say that. It's like, bleh. 